What if we use the experience of developing reliable, time-tested aircraft engines to create ground engines? This question was raised back in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and they tried installing gas turbine units on high-speed trains, ships, and special equipment for engineering tasks and testing. All of these were isolated examples. But the truly widespread use came with so-called industrial gas turbine engines, which were based on aviation engines and used as drives for power generation or for transporting gas through main pipelines. For example, a whole range of ground-based units of various capacities was created based on the famous engines of Nikolai Kuznetsov, and today it is impossible to do without them. Born to fly, they found a second life on Earth and became a separate form of engineering art that continues to develop and improve. At the St. Petersburg International Gas Forum, the United Engine Corporation of the Rostec State Corporation presented a new product, the country's first fully domestic industrial engine, the NK. 36 ST32 with a capacity of 32 megawatt as well as the NK. 36 ST25 with a capacity of 25 megawatt. Today at the Gas Forum, United Engine Corporation of the Rostec Corporation is presenting the NK36 ST25 gas turbine engine. This is an engine with a capacity of 25 megawatt. We manufacture this engine at the United Engine Corporation Kuznetsov plant in Samara. And it is a well-known engine. Around 600 NK series engines, including the NK14 and NK12, have been installed. Our current production includes the NK-14 and NK-36 ST-25. At the Gazprom stand, we have showcased the NK-36 ST-32, whose core gas generator remains unchanged. The inlet device has been enlarged, allowing more air to enter the engine. A completely new power turbine with longer blades has also been developed and implemented. Accordingly, such innovations would allow this engine to achieve a power output of 32 megawatt with an efficiency of 38%. And here is the low emission combustion chamber, which is installed both in this 25 megawatt engine and in the new 32 megawatt engine. What is this? This is a combustion chamber where the gas burns more efficiently. As a result, by burning more efficiently, it affects both the power characteristics and of course the environmental parameters, engine. It can be used to drive a centrifugal compressor for natural gas in order to transport gas through the trunk pipeline system and gas pipelines of the Russian Federation. Uh, its second application is to drive compressors for liquefied natural gas, also known as liquefied natural gas. The third area is that this engine can be used to generate electricity for driving electric generators. We are also considering using this engine as part of mobile power plants, which can be deployed in the shortest possible time in hard to reach places, let's call them that, where the use of a traditional power grid is impossible. Let us clarify that creating a power unit or a gas pumping unit is not just installing a gas turbine aircraft engine on a stationary base. No, this is a completely new complex engineering product and it's different from its flying counterpart only the gas generator is used. While in an aircraft, the gas jet creates thrust. On the ground, it has to rotate a shaft. That's why a free power turbine is added to the aviation gas generator, which is spun by the energy of the gas stream. This turbine is then connected through a gearbox to an electric generator or a compressor. In other words, an energy or gas pumping unit is created with its own control system, noise and vibration insulation, fuel system, and more. If the unit was originally developed for aviation, we try to adapt it to the requirements of a stationary ground-based gas turbine installation. A key feature of stationary installations is their much longer service life than aviation engines. This industrial engine lasts 20,000, 25,000 hours, exceeds the service life of the aviation engine. Now we see that modern technologies such as additive manufacturing technologies are entering engine building are these materials used in your development? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we don't use composite materials because it's not practical due to their cost. And in general, there's no technical need for them here. But we do widely use additive technologies. A number of engine housings are made from powdered metal materials using laser sintering. 
and the combustion chambers and the burners of the combustion chambers in this engine are made using the same additive technologies. They have already proven effective and as I mentioned the combustion chamber with these burners has shown low harmful emissions. In other young people on your team and, and are more entering your profession now, can we depend on them? That's what's most interesting. Good question. Young people are coming and they find it interesting. For more than five years now, our company has had the Rostec Wings program, where we actually employ students from their first year at our enterprises. They do all their internships at the enterprise and they write their graduation thesis at the enterprise. From their first year, they are assigned a mentor. So these young active guys are involved in real work from their very first year. Overall, I have to say that uh, recently the prestige of engineering specialties has increased. If before everyone wanted to become lawyers or economists, now we see people wanting to pursue engineering professions. Yes, this gives all of us a lot of hope. Absolutely, thank you, thank you for your work, thank you. Very much. To you. The forum's main innovations focus on the NK36 ST32 engine, which is more powerful than its predecessor and enables higher pipeline pressure. And this is the first fully Russian-made product in this power class. This NK36 ST32 gas turbine engine has passed factory tests and it demonstrated all the declared characteristics at the United Engine Corporation Kuznetsov test bench in Samara. This unit was designed according to its technical specifications and it demonstrated a power output of 32 megawatts and an efficiency of 38%. And certain environmental parameters that were specified are ensured by the low emission combustion chamber. And accordingly, with such power characteristics and technical specifications, it is ready to undergo pilot industrial operation at the next application site. It's impossible not to ask about the market. Here's a potential example. There are talks about the construction of Sila Sibiri 2. Is it possible to potentially use such installations there? You know, of course we are guided by the current realities. In the current realities, this engine has applications where it can already serve as both a gas pumping unit and a gas turbine power plant because this engine is capable of operating in both roles. And when we talk about large construction projects, of course we mean that modern engines with a capacity of 25 and 32 megawatts are the main applicable engines. We also have, based on this engine, the NK37 power engine and accordingly, the NK37 operates at 3,000 revolutions per minute. This is a platform solution for use on mobile platforms. Let's say in a block modular design. Its advantage is that by operating at 3,000 revolutions per minute, we eliminate the gearbox, that is, the reduction gearbox that delivers power to the generator. And this solution allows us to make the unit more compact. For facilities, let's say, of small and medium power, we offer this solution. I am confident that in meeting the needs and shortages of the South, where block modular mobile units are especially applicable for the Far East, we will supply these units in a block modular design based specifically on the NK37, since they are the most compact and in highest demand at a capacity of 25 megawatts. So it turns out you're creating a highly strategic product for the country. Yes, absolutely. We turn our set of values in the form of an engine into a complete integrated solution. The specialization of United Engine Corporation gas turbines located in Rybinsk is our production site, United Engine Corporation Engineering, where we assemble the fully equipped unit, test it at our own testing facility and then deliver it to the customer in the highest possible factory ready condition, either as a modular or hangar type unit. But the main thing I want to say is that our, the task isn't just delivering the engine, it's the heart. A lot depends on the quality of all the various parts that are involved in the operation of the entire compressor station and the unification of these solutions in particular, their simplification, you could say, and maximum factory readiness allow us to deliver, together with the engine, 
which is certainly complex, the most complex technological unit, a single integrated product. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you.